morning, everybody. Come on in. Thank you all so much for being here. For anybody new here, hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. I'd like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Today, we are going to be making dessert. That's what you all asked for, but it's a really simple dessert. And so I've got some uh, pork pork loin here that's been in the slow cooker that we're going to shred and depending on how you guys want it we can either make a tostada uh, if we want crunchy or if we want saucy I can try and make a struggle birria taco um, and then we'll do dessert in the last uh, 30 minutes so we will take attendance if you would like to be counted present feel free to announce yourself however if you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds and y'all know who you are you're always welcome here we're the happy wholesome family friendly side of facebook youtube twitch twitter instagram and tiktok on instagram i see sunshine and evan thank you all so much for being here let's see who we have on tiktok I see Dungeon, BDB, uh, User, Two Users, Willie Tyler, Lady K, Constance, Tom, Raymond, Winnie, oh my goodness, y'all are coming in, uh, Althea, Esther, Michael, Jack, I can't read that one, Mary Glenn, Dottie, Gemma, uh, Vell Makers, Mother and Jay, hello, Jay is over here today, so good to see you, and uh, John Williams, Jack Barfield, Gina, uh, thank you all so much, hello, Roxella. I want to say Roxanne, Roxanne. <laughs> we got Wanna Be Natural. Been a while. Good to see you back here. Hello, my dear. Bonnie Young is in the house. Thank you for being here. And Coco Rose says, hi, Maggie. Hello and welcome. Thank you all so much for being here. So we're going to make a little bit of dinner and then a little bit of dessert. So if you only want Team Sweet, come back in about 20 minutes. If you're here for Team Savory, we're going to start with that. If you're Team Greedy and you want everything like I do, <laughs> stay for both of them. All right, everybody. So let me show you all what we got going on. I am going to wipe down the counters, but I wanted to show you all. I did this at the end of yesterday's stream. And I know those of you all on Instagram and TikTok can't see, but I have a slow cook going and it's kind of bubbling through here so I'm going to try and uh, shred this up. So I showed you all yesterday a really easy way to get meat for the week. Hello Paris. I had a frozen pork loin that I put in here with a whole bottle of uh, barbecue sauce and yes it's still upside down because <laughs> we want to get the rest of that out. Um, so I am going to actually put on an apron and uh, let me see. I'm going to see if we can shred this and um, this would be a great way for those of y'all who meal prep, uh, those of you all who um, like to, maybe you need to cook for the whole family. Um, this is a great uh, option for you. You can just set it and forget it. I put this on this morning because my pork loin, pork loin was frozen, so I let it thaw overnight. And then I just, two ingredients, the meat and barbecue sauce. It could be chicken and uh, salad dressing, like a whole bottle of Italian dressing. It could be, you know, meat and barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I'm in Atlanta, so it's 5 p.m. So this has been going since about 8 a.m. So it's basically been an all day uh, simmer. Oh my God, it smells good and it sounds good. So you can see we've got that, um, that liquid in there from the, um, the barbecue sauce so let me see let me get myself together we're gonna get in here and this is what i'm saying if you just leave your uh meat in there when you let it slow cook we should be able to just um shred it easily all right <clears throat> so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because i am gonna move it uh if you have a um a slow cooker with different settings then i would probably do eight or ten hours all right so you all know you can get your own maggie merch link should be in the description Let's see if we can get it over everything link should be in the description um we have three different sizes adults kids and long no standard long and kids multiple colors you can customize them for free um so yes just showing you all this is the apron in long, I believe, and it has apron, uh, pockets here. All right, everybody. Uh, Kim G says, hi, Maggie. We're making the spring rolls for dinner tonight. I was thinking about you. Hello, sweetheart. I was thinking about you because I saw another Flying Dutchman recipe, and uh, maybe I'll show it to you all, but he wrapped the onion burger in rice paper so it stayed intact. Remember, that was a struggle that I had because the onions started to separate. I'm like, ooh. 
maybe we need to do another one of these. Um, Coco Rose says, slow cooker recipes are a lifesaver during the, the winter. Absolutely. So for those of y'all that don't like to cook every day, I cook every day, but this could last you for the whole week. You could do it plain with just like uh, beef broth or chicken broth, you know, salt, pe salt pepper, some seasonings. Hello, material girl. A material, a material, a material world. Dun, 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 na, na. Okay, sorry. Y'all know me and my outburst. Um, you could make it barbecue. You can make it whatever flavor you like. Let me see if we can shred this up. Really, it's just two forks, but I got a big one uh, in here. But uh, for those of y'all that don't like to cook, this could be a lifesaver for you. Hello, D-Ray. Sheila, she says, hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for the compliment. Oh, 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 Sheila. I love it when you come to class, Sheila. <sighs> y'all, I ain't never gonna change. <laughs> Kim G says, oh, wow, rice wrapped flying Dutchman. This is interesting. Do I wanna show it to you? Let me know if you want to see it. I'll go get my um, other iPad. All right. So let's try two forks. All right. So y'all see how it's just kind of shredding on its own. So we'll make a little to start. I just don't, don't splatter me. But you all see how, and if you let it go even longer, should we taste it? Taste a little bit. Uh, if you let it go even longer, it will... Um, It'll be even softer. Hold on. All right, let me just put this down. I'm gonna try and shred it. Give this a taste. Hot, 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 hot. All right, let's see how the flavor is. Oh my God. Mmm. Ah! Juicy and saucy. So again, this could be chicken. This could be beef. This could be anything. But especially when meat goes on sale, because y'all know groceries are expensive and y'all see I'm using the little liner. Hello, Zane Morgan. Thank you so much for being here. When meat goes on sale, y'all can buy those big cuts of meat. And then just set this at night when you're going uh, to bed and put it on the 10 hour setting and let it just cook. And y'all see how it just kind of comes apart. And then you can portion it out. You can do pulled pork sandwiches or, um, I don't know, brisket. Um, we did the rice rolls yesterday. You could do um, pizza. What are some ideas y'all would do? Um, so this is a great way. And again, I didn't season it with anything but one ingredient. And this is a sugar-free barbecue sauce, sweet and spicy. So another marinade, like I said, is Italian dressing. Let me bring this down so y'all can see. All right. So I'm going to take some of this meat and do y'all want to see a tostada or do y'all want to see a birria <laughs> or birria uh, taco? I was thinking of what I can do with this and then you'll just let it cool down and then you can like package it in whatever, um, you know, little containers that you do getting a hello pink uh, plum. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, Zane says pulled pork fries is a good idea. Okay, you wanna see the taco nachos? Okay, you want me to do, I'll do the birria taco for you? Absolutely. So now birria, the, the actual one is a stewed meat, but it's like more of an adobo sauce. This is a barbecue sauce, but I'm just here to give you guys ideas. So I could really take time and the softer it gets, you could just kind of shred it. But I wanted to start with this because those of y'all that are with me yesterday, hello, Pink Pump. Those of y'all that are with me yesterday, you saw it was just one pork loin. So I get them in the giveaway box or if you get them on sale, you can buy a whole piece of meat and then you can use this in multiple ways. Okay, so we'll make a birria taco, really basic. Um, have I ever made one before? No. <laughs> Has that ever stopped me? No, but I've watched videos. I'm not a chef, but I play one on YouTube. All right, so I just wanted to get the big chunks and oh, y'all, it smells so good. It's fogging up my glasses, but we will be all right. All right, you got a whole, um, you know, I'm a boy mom, y'all know. These kids always eating. And uh, once you break it apart, it just gets softer and softer. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna move this to the back. 
and then we'll wipe off the counters, wash my hands. I'll make a quick birria taco uh, with just the meat and cheese. And, um, and uh, then we'll make our pine berry shortcake. Okay, everyone? So here to give you all some ideas. Let me just, it's heavy. Y'all know Maggie's not strong. Okay. I always like to start with clean counters and clean hands. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you're doing well. But I love that. Uh, nachos, tacos. Usually I do a crispy taco, but um, I'm going to do kind of a soft, saucy one and see how we like it. And of course, I'll make it sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free and show you all my substitutes. But you know, I am not the food police. So if you can have the full flavor, please have some for me. All right. I know we got Kim G here. She's going to tell me if I'm doing it authentic or if I'm just messing, uh, make, making it up. All right. Okay. So I'll bring the, um, the ceramic part over here. Uh, so it can start to cool down because it's been cooking for hours. Okay. All right. So I'll move this here so y'all can see. And we need the cooktop. I'd love to know. <laughs> Lily says lovely here. Thank you, sweetheart. This is a, it was a fail. It was supposed to be a spiral, but I didn't follow instructions. So this is what you got. We'll try again next week. Kim G says, you go girl. But thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Zane says, I feel like a pulled pork will, would go great with mac and cheese. I have seen uh, pulled pork mac and cheese. Um, oh, you mean on the side? But yeah, giving y'all some ideas. Okay, so let's get the cooktop. All I do is watch food videos, clearly I like to eat. Um, so we're gonna plug this up and we just need a skillet, like a, a nonstick skillet. But let me let me get my tortillas first and make sure that my tortilla will, will fit, okay? One second. Oh dear, where is it? All right, sorry y'all. You know those cooking shows where everything is prepared and it's just laid out ahead of time? This is not that, all right? So this is what's been approved for me. This is Be Free. I just got this from Walmart. So this says high protein, carb friendly wraps. If you can have real like flour tortilla, please have some for me. Um, but this one is like rice, 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 baby, chickpea, all kind of healthy stuff. All right. So I got to make the substitutes. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. I cook with sugar-free, dairy-free and gluten-free substitutes. But if you all can have the full flavor, please have some for me. Hello, Mona's in the house. Hello, my dear. Thank you all for liking the live stream. I love cooking for y'all. So it is a joy for me. All right, so we're gonna use one of these and we're gonna try and make one struggle birria taco, all right? So we need a skillet. Um, okay, so <laughs> the key before we start is to make sure our tortilla will fit in here because you don't want it to be like, curved up on the side. Hello, Fatima. You don't want it to be curved up on the side so it won't cook evenly. So when we do our pizza stream, I got so much stuff I want to do for y'all. We're going to make a homemade almond butter. If you're here for dessert, don't worry. That's coming up next. But this is really, really, it's, it's so small. It's so simple. I wanted to give you all something. Let me cut into this. Oh, I use my, my scissors are there. I'd love to give you guys um, ideas. You know, maybe you're pre-diabetic, maybe you're trying to lose weight. For whatever reason, you need something with more protein and, and less carbs. What I like about these, y'all know I usually do the cassava tortillas, uh, but some of the substitutes are kind of stiff, but you all can see right out of the package that this is nice and flexible. So I do like that. 
All right, so for the most part, it'll fit. We have a little bit on the edge, but it's okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do now is go back. I'm so lame, I know. Hello, Marion, hello, sweetheart. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so we are going to turn on the skillet, turn on the lights. I know it's turn off the lights. I make up my own songs, okay? Hello, Chelsea. Uh, what we're gonna do is we have our tortilla and we're going to turn on the skillet and put a little bit of oil. Uh, Riri says, where did you find the tortillas? Walmart. I have Walmart Plus and the brand is Be Free, but this will work with any tortilla that you have, all right? I know it's backwards on TikTok, but y'all can screenshot that. Okay, so we are going to grease this up a little bit. I'll use my MCT coconut oil. I'm not a fan of it because it's a little bit smoky, but we'll be all right. And then what we do for the Bria tacos is not only do we have the meat inside, usually with like a quesadilla or taco, this is dry. We're actually going to put this into the uh, slow cooker and get it nice and saucy on both sides, then put it in the skillet, put the filling in here, and then close it over itself and then cook it nice and saucy. Um, so that's the plan, okay? So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and turn this on <laughs> and we'll, we'll do like a medium. I'm gonna put a little oil. All right, so not my favorite, but I'm trying to stay on track. This is the MCT coconut oil that I use. Chelsea says, Bria taco sound delicious. Yes, absolutely. Let me make sure y'all can see on IG. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. This oil, it's it's okay. You could use avocado oil, coconut, um, olive oil, whatever works for you. I just don't like that this has a high smoke point, which means it gets smoky easily. You're welcome, Riri. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I don't know, can y'all see the slow cooker? While this is heating up, we have the sauciness from the uh, pulled uh, pork loin. Hello, I am, or it could be whatever. And I know this is barbecued. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there. And we really want the sauce like on both sides. So we're getting both sides kind of coated. Okay, and then put this on here. All right, one second. Oh, get that away. I'm gonna try and put it in here. All right, starting to get a little hot. So now we're gonna put the tortilla, the wet tortilla in here. All right, let me turn this down. Oh, I missed a little bit here. Hold up, gotta get it all saucy. I'll put the meat over here. Let's get a little bit of the pulled pork or whatever you have. And um, you can put whatever other ingredients you have in here. Let me make sure I shredded it nicely. Got a little clump, but y'all see what we're doing here. All right. And then the cheese I'm going to use is my goat's cheese. I'm going to use the leftover of that. Whatever melting cheese that you like. Y'all know I'm dairy free, which means I avoid cow dairy. So I'm using this goat's cheese monster. I know it's not authentic. This is what I got, all right? So I'm just gonna break it. You could shred it if you wanted to, but I'm literally just gonna kind of like break it in chunks. So when it melts, hopefully I get that nice little cheese pull. So you all see here, you could do avocado in here. You could do, um, I see people squeeze lime. You could do everything. I feel like I should save some of it for the pizza. Okay. Now, so y'all can see we have our sauciness. We have our just meat and cheese. We're gonna do very basic, but put whatever other vegetables you want in there. Usually in the stewed meat, you would have like, I don't know, onions, peppers, all of that. So now we're gonna cover it, see if I can do it with the tongs. Oh yeah. So you see, we're starting to get 
that cooking going on. All right, so we're just gonna let that melt. And um, once it cooks, we'll cut it in half. And usually you serve it on the side with the dipping uh, sauce. Uh, I have some extra barbecue sauce too. So we're gonna let that do its thing. Kim G says, mm. oh, you like red onion? I have red onion. I have red onion and green onion. I'll cut up a little bit of this and slide it in there before it seals all the way. We used this yesterday, y'all, remember? Let me turn it down a little bit. All right, we don't need much. Let's just go in here. We did strips yesterday, so. I don't know if y'all can see, okay. Just gonna put, take that top layer off. For Kim G, let's give her some red onion. See if we can get back in here. Can everybody see? All right, so our cheese is melting. Let me know if this is enough, Kim G or if you want more red onion, or what else y'all would do. I don't know what's authentic. All right, so let's, let's do this. Let's cover it back, see if we can let it cook. I'm gonna turn it over. Looks great, okay, thank you, dear. All right, so let's move this stuff out of the way, see if I can turn it over. But just giving you all an idea when you have stewed meat or, you know, like what you can do. You all see it starting to melt. Close that down. Let's see if we can turn it over. This is the part where I struggle. So if you like it nice and saucy. I don't know, a little dark or good? <laughs> All right, let's let the other side cook and we're getting a little crust. All right, so that's it with this and then I'll make you guys dessert, all right? So far, so good? All right, so we'll plate this up. We'll actually use the cutting board. Let's leave this here and leave this here to turn it. All right, we just want it to brown. And um, let's get a little... Y'all know me from yesterday. Yes, my uh, barbecue sauce is upside down because we still got some in there. Hello, Just Vibe. Zane says, looks perfect, yummy, looks fabulous. Okay, good. All right, so just let that brown. It's already cooked, but just showing y'all something to do. So here's what I'm going to do, my little janky way. Usually this would be some of the stew that you um, have here. And you know what? I'll put some red onion. All right, so let me just put this down on one. Let's check it. I don't want it to I think we're good. Yeah. All right. So we'll turn this over. All right. We'll serve this side. So I'm going to put this on the cutting board. We'll use the same little cutting board. Let's get our insides in there and we'll, uh, Cut it in half. Make sure you all can see. All right. Got a little crust on it. Exciting. Exciting. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to cut it in half. If I had some cilantro, but uh, we'll do red onion for... Um, for kimchi. I have some leftover barbecue sauce. I poured the whole bottle in here and let it cook all day. So we want some for dipping, okay? So just more of the same little stew. So I'm gonna <laughs> put the rest in here. And then to be halfway authentic, I'm gonna scoop up some of that and add it. 
and then we'll give that a nice little cut in half. Oh crap. I've seen people garnish with um, with lime. I feel like we need some green. I've got green onions. We've got chives. Um, we need some color. All right, so this is our sugar-free barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna get some of this goodness. So that's barbecue sauce with the, um, the juicy bits. And let's stir it up. Just making up something, all right? Stir it up. Let's give it a taste, I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm. Ah! It's good, y'all. Spicy, but good. Whew. I'm going to thin it out just a little bit more. All right. Looks good. Okay. Uh, let's cut this in half. Let's get a serrated knife. All right. So, this is what we have. We have our um, Berea taco. I think it's Bidia, right? I don't know how, forgive me if I'm butchering it. So we're just gonna go down the center. So got a nice little crust. Probably should have let it cool a little more before I got in here. And I should have shredded my meat all the way. So it's a little messy, but let's see. And y'all know me in the garnishes. Let's put a little red, a little bit more red onion on here. Just for, just for garnish. Uh, if you had lime, do um, a little squeeze of lime. Cilantro, I do have some shaker cilantro. So I'm gonna put a little bit of red onion here, a little bit of red onion here. So that is a meal. You could make this easy, especially if you already have the meat. All right, not the best presentation because I got like all the saucy bits on the board. Um, if I moved it, let's see. Y'all know me in presentation. Let me see if I can get a clean one. We are at 5.30, then I'll take a taste and let me make y'all dessert. All right, there we go. Mm. Okay. Do we need some green or we're good? Hello, Bri and Brie, and hello, uh, M-I-A, and hello, Skelawoo. All right, so let's take a taste, and then I'll make y'all dessert. Shake it. Mm-hmm. Messy is okay. Brie is supposed to be messy. Okay. I feel like I need some green. So let's see. I think I'll just sprinkle some cilantro on it. Keep it simple. I've got cabbage, I've got all of that. Of course, fresh is best, but we used up the fresh yesterday, all right? So, and you all could see our inside. Probably if I let it cool, it wouldn't be so. All right, so mom is happy. We got a little green going on. I'll give that to you all. All right, let me take a picture. I just want to tear into it, but I just started taking pictures of my food because then I'm like, oh, it was so good, but it's gone. Let me take a quick picture. We'll taste it. <clears throat> so y'all can absolutely make this. And again, that's how my channel started. I just used to recreate recipes and then people would say, did you make that? I'm like, yes, I made that. So when you see this on my page, y'all will know we made it. Maggie made it. All right. One with the flash. Just take several. Y'all remember uh, what Caitlin said. Get up close to your 
subject. God, it looks so good. And then a quick video. All right, so we made a little burrito taco with a gluten-free cassava tortilla with uh, pulled pork uh, stewed all day. We have red onions, some cilantro, and goat's cheese. Enjoy. All right, everyone. I know it's not cassava tortilla, but that's what I usually use. All right, let's take a taste. Then I'll make you dessert, and then I'll uh, let you have your evening. Hello, Bell is here. Looking good? Okay. So let's get in here. All right, it's all saucy and messy and, all right, so the proper way, like I know, we're gonna dip it in the sauce and we're gonna, Y'all, is good. I'm going to get my towel in a minute. I should have shredded the pork a little bit better. Y'all can see. I should have, you know, gotten it really, really. But look, we will be all right. One more. And it's spicy. And it's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, y'all, anybody else get excited? Oh my gosh. This is so hard for me. Uh-oh, I'm knocking stuff over. <laughs> so good. Okay, one more bite. Y'all, mm, just, because I wait to eat to cook for y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. 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 All right, focus, Maggie. Y'all, that's good. I want to tear this up, but I'm going to leave it here, and I'll eat it after. Y'all are here for dessert. I'm over here fooling about. Hello, Bato Blessed, Father, and Jamal. Looks good? Hello, booze. Good to see you. All right, y'all. Spicy sauce got me. <laughs> One moment. Oh. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm struggling, but it's good. All right, all right. so just wanted to give you all a little idea of what you can do, you know, with a, a cut of meat and a, and a jar of barbecue sauce. You can absolutely make this, all right? So now let's move on to your pine berry strawberry shortcake. All right, so if you have a sweet tooth like me, hello, B. Marie, thank you so much for being here. If you have a sweet tooth like me and you like to have a little dessert, but you're trying to, you know, watch the sugars, watch the carbs. If you all were with me when we did the 90 second pancake, this is a low carb love recipe that I've turned into a dessert. You could make it as a cornbread. You could make it as a pancake. I'm going to make it as a shortcake. All right, so I'm going to show you all how to do this. Um... Let me get a little, uh, I kind of feel like for this, I'll let y'all choose. And this is great because it makes a portion for one. Sorry, y'all, I know that's loud. So I have a little red bowl here about the size of my hand. Um, but I can also use a glass bowl too, so you all can see the cross section and you can see how this comes together. All right. Um... All right, I don't know if anybody has a preference. So the base is gonna be almond flour. So we will do the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, and then top it up. So let me show you these pine berries. Maybe y'all know what they are. They're new to me, but I am enjoying them. I read somewhere, it's like the cross between a strawberry and a pineapple. So it's sweet, but you can use it like a strawberry substitute. <clears throat> so I don't know where these are local to, but you all can see here it says peekaboo pine berries, okay? So you can see 
you'll find them in the produce section. And I thought something was wrong with them. You all can see the color here. So they're kind of like this strawberry shaped but light colored berry and they're very sweet. So we will cut this up over our uh, dessert. Let me move all the savory stuff to the back, y'all. Barbecue sauce got me sweating, but it's good. All right, so we'll make our station dessert friendly, but I just wanted to show y'all um, an easy little skillet taco that you can make. So this is gonna be my dinner. So I will eat that when we're done and then I'll show you all my dessert. But let's clean up here. All right. And uh, I will shred up. I'll pull pork. I'll do a better job of shredding it up. Y'all can see. And uh, it's nice and saucy. You can use it in a variety of ways. Y'all said mac and cheese, loaded fries, everything. Hello, Deuce the Don. Hello, 4Q. Hello, Monique. Hello, uh, Nicole Tom Tompkins. Oh, it's heavy, y'all. Okay. I'll just put it back in here. Super easy. And let's move the cilantro. All right, everyone. So these are going to be on the topping, but however you would use strawberries, you could use these pine berries, but they're, uh, Bill says they're so good and so sweet. Yes. So pine berries. If anybody's never heard of this, I'm new to it too, but maybe they are available where you are, but peekaboo pine berries. And I think around Valentine's Day when they had the strawberries out, these were out. So I just grabbed some. So apparently a cross between a strawberry and a pineapple. So it even smells really sweet. Okay. So now we are going to put together our shortcake. Uh, hello, wannabe says, looks good. Thank you, dear. Okay. Let's move our onions and all of that. All right. Let me just wipe the counters down one more time. So this is going to be, our dry ingredients are going to be almond flour, which is basically ground up almonds. So it stays gluten free. It's going to be, you know, um, low carb, not necessarily low calorie. So it's good that it's a portion for one. I love these dark counters, but you never know if you still have sauce and onion and stuff on them. Um, then you need sweetener. So I'm going to use one of my sugar-free sugars. She uses allulose. So that's what I'm going to use. And then um, baking powder, which I'm out of. So I'm going to substitute cream of tartar. It's not the same, but we'll be all right. Oh, excuse me. All right. So let's get the ingredients. And this is a microwave dessert. So you can make it in 90 seconds. But of course... With me explaining, it'll probably take us like 20 minutes, but I love cooking for y'all. Okay, so dry ingredients, almond flour. <clears throat> okay, so let's do one at a time. So this is what I have in the pantry. This is just from Walmart, almond flour. And you can see here, it's literally like ground up almonds. I think they take the skin off of it. Um, so this is great for gluten-free baking. Just know, because it comes from a nut, it is um, going to be denser. So if you make uh, like pancakes or anything with it, you'll want to add a little baking powder because it's going to be a little bit heavier, but it works for me. So I have one that's open. We need three tablespoons, all right? So three tablespoons of almond flour. So I got my little Walmart measure. They gave me this. So let's go in. We'll use the clear one so everyone can see. And two tablespoons is 90 calories. So this is what, one and a half. So 90 plus 45. So what, 135? 135 calories. And one gram of sugar. So one and a half grams of sugar. So compared to like your regular strawberry shortcake, y'all can already see a difference. All right, making sure everyone can see. So three tablespoons, and we're gonna kind of shake it off, shake it off, so we get a level, level tablespoon. So one, two, three. All right, 
so you all can see what we have here. You can see how this flower is going to be a little grainier compared to regular all-purpose flour. And again, if you can have a regular one, have some for me. All right, now we need sweetener. If you can have sugar, use regular sugar. I'm going to be using this. This is allulose. You can see it's zero calorie. That's why I call it sugar-free sugar. You could use stevia. You could use monk fruit. You could use whatever you like, all right? So this is a one-to-one -one, um, combination or one-to-one -one comparison. Y'all know what I mean. All right, so this is going to be like our granular table sugar. All right, let's just wipe this so we don't cross-contaminate. All right. And we need a tablespoon of sweetener. Shake that off. So for anybody new, heaping tablespoon, that's what I get, level tablespoon. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of sweetener. All right, so three tablespoons almond flour, one tablespoon of sugar-free sugar. And then, I think it's one teaspoon of baking powder, which I don't have. I used the rest of, so I am going to use <clears throat> cream of tartar. It's not exactly, this helps like egg whites stay stiff, but you can see it's for baking. I think this has baking powder in it, plus some other stuff. So I'm just going to use this, but if you want to do it the, the actual way, it is, um, baking powder, which should be a kitchen staple, and I should have replaced it before I used it all up. Hello, Love Co. Love Coco. Hello, Christina. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we need a teaspoon Oh, I could have used this. Okay, so we have a teaspoon of, let's just call it baking powder. All right. So we'll put that in over here. So those are the three dry ingredients, really simple. Hello, life. Thank you so much for being here. So we're gonna stir it up. And the reason why, hmm. I have a little whisk somewhere, but we'll just use this. The reason why is you want, <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. You want your dry ingredients to be well combined because if you just put the wet ingredients in here now, then you may have a clump of cream of tartar or a clump of sweetener um, when you're baking. And I am not a baker, y'all. I am a cooker, not a baker. But I've learned this the hard way, moving fast and just dumping it in there. There are some cakes and some recipes that are dump recipes, but it's better if you kind of mix it, all right? So that's what we have. Okay, so now your two wet ingredients are just one egg and one tablespoon of melted butter, all right? So, I'm going to use a whole egg, and for butter, y'all know I'm dairy-free, so I'm going to use my goat's milk butter. If you can have the real thing, have some for me. Um, you could also do plant-based butter, if you're vegan, but what do you do about the eggs? I don't know, and I can't help you. <laughs> Hello, Taichia. I'm just here to give y'all inspiration. Gillis is here. Hello, my dear. Good to see you. Okay. So this is what I'm using for butter. Y'all have seen me use this before. This is the Delamere goat's milk butter. I get this from Whole Foods. It is butter. It is just made from goat's milk instead of cow dairy. I love dairy, it just doesn't love me back. So uh, I have to make substitute something about the protein in cow's milk or cow's dairy my body doesn't tolerate. All right, so we're just gonna eyeball it and cut off a tablespoon of butter. So that's kind of like a pat of butter. This one doesn't have little markings on it, but I just cut like a slice like that. And then I cut that in half. All right. So we have a tablespoon of butter. That's how I'm staying dairy free. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds so it can melt. And then we'll go ahead and crack our egg in here. I'm just gonna cover it with a little paper towel so it doesn't splatter, okay? But we need this melted to put inside. All 
Okay, so I'm using whole eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and crack an egg in here in our dry ingredients. A little tight to you. Um, so one whole egg, I'm using the real thing. This was almond flour, three tablespoons, one tablespoon sweetener, and one teaspoon of baking powder. All right. So now going in with our wet. All right. So as soon as the butter is done, we'll get that out. And while it's cooking, we'll cut up our, oh, our pine berries. I just used one. So we have our melted butter, and this is going to go in with our other ingredients. So that's it. If you want to do vanilla, you can. I'm going to put some other stuff in it after it cooks, but that's literally it. Let me stir it up. You can play around with it. Like I said, you can do uh, vanilla. Hello, T-Mac. You could do uh, any kind of extract that you want to. But we just want to get the wet and the dry mixed up. And that is your cake batter. So this gives you a cake for one. This uh, helps me, you know, like when other people have desserts. Y'all ever have that where the yolk doesn't want to give in? All right. So we're just going to get it. And you can see the batter. It's kind of giving us like a little bit of a cornbread, cornmeal batter because it is um, almond flour. You can see it's kind of grainy. But all right. So once you get that mixed up, that's it. This is going to go in the microwave for 90 seconds. All right. So here's our batter. All right. So 90 seconds. Or a minute and a half. And I'm just going to put it in this bowl. And just because I'm going to serve it in here, I'm just going to kind of wipe the sides a little bit. Y'all know we are, we eat with our eyes. You could dump it out if you want to, but I'm going to do the whole thing in here. So it'll rise a little bit. One minute, 30 seconds. All right, Kiwi says, oh, you cut that butter at the waist. I wonder what personality is. You cut it from the neck. I don't understand. Help me understand. Hello, Jenny's ass. Okay. Um, so let's go in with our pine berries. I'm greedy, so I'm going to go for the big one. So again, this is like half strawberry, half pineapple. Is it genetically modified? I don't know. Do these occur in, nat in nature? Probably not. If it's half pineapple, half um, <laughs> strawberry. All right, so let's go with two. Nice little portion size. I'll rinse these. And we're just going to cut. All right. So I'm going to cut them just like I would a strawberry, just kind of pull up the tops. And I do it in the napkin so that I can just kind of dump it in there. That's probably not like, that doesn't look too good. Let me give you all something better. It's all right. It's all right. Hello, everyone. Hello, low key. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the top. So I'm just going to go straight down. And you all can see the flesh on the inside is white. So you saw the picture. And you can slice them any way that you want to. We'll slice one up. I'm going to go down half and then turn it and go half. And then I'm just going to All right, so we have nice little pieces and we'll do the other one. All right, let's get our cake. It's the 90 seconds. Okay. Mm. <laughs> one moment. All right, so you all can see our cake has cooked in the microwave and you can see here, it's got like a little spongy texture and I like those little holes because I was like, ooh, what can we do with that? I'm gonna show you. So you can see our little cake for one. All right, so let me cut up the other pine berry, however you like. 
Don't let the color fool you. It is very sweet. You could save those and make tea if you wanted to. Mm, weird. Sweet and tart. Think half strawberry, half pineapple. Shout out to science. All right. Cut these any way you like. All right. So what I do... Oh, you're just being silly? Have no idea. Y'all know I'm slow. Okay. So notice how our little cake has the little holes in there. If y'all remember... One day when we tried to do the uh, pancake and I had the Lakanto sugar-free syrup and I like like a thick sticky syrup, but it just kind of like watered in there. I was like, ooh, that would be good inside. So let's do that. <clears throat> um, okay. So think of like a tres leches or a cake that has the milk. That's what tres leches is. It's a cake and they actually poke holes into it and they pour like condensed milk, like two other kind of milks, three milks, tres leches in there. And so the cake has like a spongy uh, texture that's kind of like, tastes like cereal at the bottom of the bowl. All right, so this is what we had, y'all. I bought this Lakanto cinnamon maple. All right, I'm just making it up. And the flavor is really good, but if you notice the texture, Y'all can't really see. See how it's just kind of watery? And I didn't like that for pancakes. But when I saw these little holes, I was like, wait a minute. So I tried, it's hot in my hand. One moment. So I was like, ooh, what if we pour this syrup all on here and just kind of let it soak into the cake? All right, so let's just move that around. So you can eat it just like this, but I get it like nice and sopped up. And y'all can see with the glass how it comes down the side. <laughs> Gillis says, perfect use for that. You're right. See y'all, these are the things I come up with and it smells so good. All right. So for pancakes, no, it'll just run down the side. But this has been my dessert, y'all. I make this at night after a meal. So I get that little satisfaction, but it's still sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. Because this maple uh, syrup is sweetened with monk fruit. Some monks found a plant that tastes sweet, but it doesn't spike your blood sugar, all right? So cinnamon maple, and you don't have to get cinnamon maple, but you can see here, it's only 15 calories and zero sugar. Okay, so now, hello, uh, Sir Daniel. Let me get our whipped cream. Should have taken this out a minute ago. All right, so now you just assemble. We got a lot going on here. Um, let's see, let's put, our pine berries around here and uh, just do like a little first layer. You can make it any way that you want to. And then we're gonna do some whipped cream and then some more berries. All right, so let me just move everything for the picture. Did y'all know, once we do the whipped cream, I gotta be ready to do the picture quickly because the whipped cream kind of falls down and we're done. So a 30 minute meal and a 30 minute dessert for y'all. How you like them berries? I know y'all, I know. Just allow me, okay? I just, I need my 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 uh, silly humor. All right, so let's clean this up. Move this away. But y'all can absolutely make this. Move all this. All right, so now we're gonna go in, let's get the camera ready. Oh, the berries, more, more, more. You want more berries? I got one more. Let me, how many more do you want? I'll do it for you. All right, you want more berries. All right, let's put more berries for Gilles and then I'll cut up another one. Usually when you're doing like a proper strawberry shortcake, y'all know you have layers, right? You would have cake and then berries and then cream and then more cake and then more berries and more cream. So we have some here. Let me know if that's enough. If not, I'll get at it. So for the whipped cream, to keep it dairy free, I'm using the ready, mip, ready Whip made from coconut milk. You all can get these made from coconut milk, almond milk, so you can have whipped cream without real cream, but it's still creamy. All right, you're welcome, sweetheart. So then let's go in here. All right, and then let's put a few more berries out. 
hot in my hand, but that's good because the cream is going to be cool. We've got the, oh, it's hot. Little berries. Let me know if we need more. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture like this. If you want more pine berries, I'll do it. Now you got me thinking. Do we need some more? All right, let me take a picture. And we could even drizzle some syrup on there. Maybe I'll do that too. Or we have enough syrup. One with the flash. And then for those of y'all that just came in, oh, still flashing. We have our dinner. Is the coconut flavor strong on the whipped cream? It's not strong to me, but I don't mind coconut. If you really don't like coconut, you can taste the coconutiness, if that's a word. Do the almond milk. They have an almond milk one that's uh, milder. All right. So let's get a picture of our dinner and dessert. And um, now you got me thinking, let me do one more berry really quick. And just get in here. And then I'll cut into it and give you all a taste. See, because when you cut into it, it's got that white flesh, it almost looks like it's not a lot, but we've used three, uh, three berries. But this is a great way, y'all know I love cutting fruit because it gives you that portion control, makes you feel like you have more than you do. So you can see the syrup has kind of sopped down to the side. Then you all see the berries. So we have, this is a nice dessert for after your meal. And if you want even more sweet, the berries are sweet. We could do a little bit of, um, sprinkle cinnamon on it. Okay, Nate wants cinnamon on it, you got it. And you say coconut and amaretto, no bueno? Oh, you don't like coconut and you don't like amaretto. Okay, gotcha. All right, cinnamon, cinnamon, I know you're here. Okay, that'd be a nice little dusting. I just got some on me. Go lightly, yeah, because it comes out, y'all see. All right, so, looks good? Okay, all right. I'll take another little picture. The, um, the whipped cream is standing up. I thought we would, and eh, it's starting to melt. Okay, let's, uh, do my quick little video and then be done. All right, so today we made a pine berry shortcake. This is with pine berries and the 90 second low carb love pancake. <laughs> so this is half pineapple, half strawberry. We have almond flour, allulose to keep it sugar free, goat's butter to keep it dairy free, coconut cream, dusting of cinnamon, and cream of tartar to keep it fluffy. Enjoy. All right, everybody, let's cut in here and have some. And you don't like fruit on cakes? You know, you could have absolutely eaten it plain. Hello, Drea, and hello, 8B in the city. All right, so let's cut in here. I gave you all dinner in 30 minutes, and I gave you all dessert in 30 minutes. So our burrito taco is still ready to be devoured. So let me get you guys a nice little sopped up scoop of this. Let's go in there and get some berries. Oh my God, y'all. Do y'all see how juicy, oh, do y'all see how juicy that is? So you can see our cake texture. If you want it dry, you don't have to do the syrup. Let's get some of that cinnamon coconut cream. Mmm! Woo! One more. Y'all, the cake is still warm and it's like moist all the way down. I don't know if y'all can see that because this sugar-free syrup got in all the nooks and crannies. And then we have the fruit. Mm. 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 <laughs> this stream will be Sunday dinner. Absolutely, y'all can do this. If you don't like berries or pine, if you don't have pine berries, do it with strawberry, blueberry, apple, whatever fruit you have on hand. This is a great little cake dessert for one. So I showed you all how to make your burrito taco and your dessert, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and let you all go. Today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday, oh dear. 
Um, Lucy and I will be doing our um, stream. We are going to be responding to what we can learn from the TikTok saga, the telenovela that has gone viral about the woman who married a man during COVID very quickly and what happened. She thought she knew who she was marrying and it was a lot, all right? So we're gonna see what kind of red flags we can all learn from. All right, everyone, so this was fun. Thank you all so much. So we're done for today. That will be tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm all about food and femininity. And then we'll come back in the kitchen on Thursday and uh, come up with something else for everyone. All right, everybody, <laughs> where's the pineapple? Sweetheart, the pink, I'm sorry, the pine berries are a cross between a strawberry and a pineapple. So this fruit is half strawberry, half pineapple, hence the color and the white flesh. So it looks like a strawberry, but it's got the tang of a pineapple, all right? Hopefully I shared with you all something that I learned. Let's go ahead and dismiss, thank you, Instagram. Thank you all so much, TikTok, for being here. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you so much, Tata, everyone. Yes, Nakota says low cholesterol, this stream will be on replay, replay, sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, all of that. I love giving you all ideas. All right, everybody. Good night. Bye, booze.